One of the questions I'm often asked by my older students <clears throat> and students that I know, <clears throat> excuse me, with um, arthritis is how do you reach the first or even second fret with your first or second fingers efficiently? Uh, if, if you have difficulty uh, bending your fingers. And the answer is that you do it with practice. You have to uh, work on getting your fingers in shape so that they can reach uh, the lower frets. Um, so I'm gonna show you a very simple uh, practice routine that I do, that I use. Um, my family suffers from uh, varying severity of arthritis and it's in my in my bloods in my blood <clears throat> uh, and uh, so I'm doing everything I can to keep my hands limber so that when it jumps on me I'll be all ready to go so <clears throat> so here's the first exercise we're going to use uh, first and second finger on the G D and A string and I'll show you how it works you start with your first finger on the second fret, G string, uh, and then you uh, play that note, which is A, and then uh, put your second finger down on the third fret, which is B flat, and then uh, play the A again. And now you're gonna slide your first finger down to the first fret, G string, for an A flat, and then bring it back up. Okay, let me show that to you again, real slow. So A, first finger on the second fret G string, B flat, second finger on the third fret G string, A again, and then A flat, first finger on the first fret G string. Now, uh, it seems like a really simple exercise, but it is, it is. Uh, the whole reason for it is that it is simple it's something you do every day and you do it on all four strings <clears throat> and it will keep the uh, tendon in your index finger um, relatively uh, loose, which should uh, help you with any um, joint issues that you might have. Let me show it to you on the other strings. So on the D string, uh, first finger on the second fret, uh, D string is an E. Uh, second finger on the third fret is an F, back to E, then E flat, and then back to E. Um, one little trick is um, when you have to shift back, if your index finger is really stiff and it's a hard, um, hard shift for you, uh, simply lean your wrist forward a little bit, which will aid in moving your finger back just by uh, physics, basically. You're, by angling your wrist, your finger has to move back. So you're not actually moving your finger that much, you're kind of angling your wrist, and as a result, uh, your finger moves. Now, that's not something you wanna get in the habit of doing, um, but this will get you started, okay? So once you can do this without angling your wrist, then stop because you don't wanna get into the bad habit of playing with what's called a pancake hand, which can cause all kinds of problems. But initially you can angle your wrist just to get your first finger in position. <clears throat> okay, let me show you that same thing on the A string. So start with the first finger on the second fret a string is a B, then second finger on the third fret, A string is a C, then B again, then B flat. And like I said, if you need to, initially, you can angle your wrist forward, which will draw your first finger back without having to move your first finger. So once again, B, C, B, B flat. B. Uh, and finally on the E string, uh, <clears throat> F sharp, 
first finger on the second fret E string, uh, G. Second finger on the third fret E string, F sharp, F, back to F sharp. Or with angling my wrist. Okay, I hope this is helpful. Um, I've posted all the links to reach me uh, in the description below if you have any questions or you can post a question in the comment section. I'll see that and I'll reply to it. Um, don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel and click the uh, bell icon, which, which will send you a notification every time I upload a new video. Thanks for watching. Hope you have a great day.